Well, joining me now is uh, Lee Cohen. He's the foreign advisor on Great Britain to the US House Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, Lee, thank you for joining me. So what's the US perspective on King Charles's diagnosis? Well, uh, Nana, uh, thank you for having me on. Um, I just, I want to wish every good outcome for the king mm. and pray for his swift and full recovery. And I know my countrymen join me in that. Um, uh, so uh, having said that, though, though some will disagree with me, he has already in his brief reign shown admirable leadership, moral clarity, an ability to inspire the best in humanity and in his people. Um, so we we are concerned for him. We need him. We want him to be strong and we want him to get well soon. Mm, well, I mean, we all wish that. Now, the story uh, leading the news at the moment, is it leading the news there? Because here, it's obviously the big story. It's on the front page of every single newspaper this morning, as far as I could see. But is it is it leading the news in any way in, in the U.S.? Well, it absolutely is. And as you can imagine, there is fascination surrounding um, Harry's uh, uh, quick visit over there. Mm. So it, it is leading the news. And the King's diagnosis hit the papers, all the major papers, and took up quite a significant amount of airtime. And, and I, that shows the great esteem and the affection that he's held over here, even wow. in your rambunctious former colony. <laughs> Mm. That's, that's, that's quite something, isn't it? Because his, his, his mother was an absolute icon all over the world. And for him to hold that kind of position as well around the world just goes to show the power, the soft power of the monarchy. Uh, but what does the US think now of a potential reconciliation between the king and his sort of estranged son, Prince Harry? Well, you know, Nana, uh, confronting mm. the mortality of one's beloved and long forgiving parent is life-changing. Uh, if anything good is to come to this experience, let's hope that it moves Harry to beg forgiveness and mm. change his way. So, you know, the crime in all of this is, ju is that just when our attention should be on the king himself, mm. uh, as always, speculation about the Sussexes intrudes and distracts from far more important matters as it did with her beloved majesty's funeral and so much else. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, I, I agree with that so wholeheartedly, but I do have to ask you this, and it is about the Sussexes. Uh, how do you think that kind of reflects on Meghan? Because her own father was very sick, and she didn't really go and see him at all, as far as we know. That's what we have reported. But, she may well have. Right, and, and that's what we know, as you say. Mm. And Meghan is another matter. She is scheming, vindictive, and dare I say dangerous. Um, and in my opinion, she should never be allowed anywhere near her husband's family moving forward. Um, and she she's not someone that has great uh, relationships with her own family. Mm. And she's clear contributed to driving a wedge uh, with Harry and his family and his country, indeed. Mm. It does seem, it's very sad, isn't it, really? Because at least, in my view, Prince Harry has shown that love, his love for his own father is deeper than any hate or any anger, which is a point that I made earlier on, on it in the show, that it's so important. This is all that really matters at the end of the day. And we learn that the royal family are mortal, just like us as well. Now, he was obviously very open, the king, about his uh, prostate diagnosis, the enlarged prostate. Was that covered in the States? at all it was and i believe it earned the king even more respect yeah. uh the interesting thing is you know in my eyes uh, uh, as a bit of a historian on on matters royal as much a historian as we have in the united states um it, you know the the great a uh, writer on monarchy and scholar in the victorian times walter badgett said mm -hmm. you know uh, there are dignified bits of the monarchy and there's the you know the the substantive bits and he, he cautioned that we shouldn't let too much light in on the monarchy and mm -hmm. a lot of people have speculating that, you know, is, is, is indeed that's what's going on. But the flip side of this, Nana, is that uh, there are a lot of people who suffer from cancer. Uh, the yeah. king has 
has done a great service to a lot of people. I think he's given them courage and his resolve, and he's getting back out there in you know the the uh, uh, in in a very British way of just keep calm and carry on, and that's what we look to him for. And he's not disappointing. No, no, he's not at all, is he? he, he I, you know, I've got so much affection for him now, especially with. I mean, when he talked about the enlarged prostate, you sort of wanted him to. Don't talk about it so much. But then, in a way, what, what he did was he encouraged others to talk about it. And the taboo from it, for me, is gone. And a, a lot of men have come forward. I mean, it was like, I think, 100 and something percent of people now going in for checks. Now, Joe Biden uh, put out a statement. He said, navigating a cancer diagnosis and survivorship takes hope and absolute courage. Jill and I join the people of the United Kingdom in praying that His Majesty experiences a swift and full recovery. Uh, what do you make to... Um, his statement, Joe Biden's statement, he's been pers per personally affected by cancer. Well, you know, I, th I think for, for a president who really is under the microscope of mm. inflicting a lot of damage on the special relationship uh, mm. with the United Kingdom, he doesn't seem to care much about it. And when that same king uh, was crowned the first coronation in nearly 70 years, uh, Joe Biden couldn't even be bothered to, to show up. So, yes, you know, he's saying the right thing. I, I don't take issue with what he said. It was a good statement. But yes. um, I, I don't think he, uh, unlike uh, what might be our, our next uh, our next president, um, and was a former president who had a great deal of affection for the royal family, for his British heritage, etc. Uh, Joe Biden is a false friend to the United Kingdom, but he did say the right thing in this time of trial for the king. Yeah, well, that, that's if he even wrote it, to be fair. But Lee Cohen, thank you very much. Really good to talk to you. Uh, you take care of yourself. That, of course, is Lee Cohen. Always a, a pleasure. Thank you, Nara. Thank you so much, Lee. Pleasure.